Hello. In this video, we're going to work through stage three of our second web design activity. And what we're going to do here is this is a relatively short stage. It's not a lot of actual um, changes are happening. This is more about understanding what's happening here in terms of accessing data. So in our last video, um, we ended up with the situation where we have a blank web page, um, but the console displays an object. And what that object is, is it contains all the information in the JSON file that we've loaded to our repository. And the code looks like this. So I've already made a stage 3.json HTML. I've copied in the stage 2 deck file or content, and all I've changed is the name from stage 2 to stage 3. I haven't made any other changes. And it's loaded right here. So if I just reload this, there it is. And I'm going to expand this. And what I want to do is, in this video, is I just want to make sure you understand how to read and access the information. Because you end up with these pretty long lines of code to access parts of this file. Um, but once you understand it, it's not hard. It's just you just have to be able to trace through and make sure you get it right. Detail is very important here. So where the information is located that we want is inside this, this array called fact. So if I expand it, the array fact has 194 elements. So the first 100 are listed here, 0 to 99. And if I expand it, here they are. And then inside each element of this array, we have, let's expand this one, we have a value, and then we have another array called dims. And then inside there, they have the specific attributes we can access. Now, I'm not going to use the very first element because there's no data. I'm actually going to use index 1. So how I access this is, to do this, what I do is I have to start by accessing data. And then I use a dot notation to kind of move into it. So data dot, and I want to get this array. So I'm going to say data dot fact. And now I have to indicate the element I want. So I want, I want the second element located at index 1. And now I have to indicate if I want to go into value or I want to go into dims. Now in our case, I want to display the country, the GHO, and the year, which are all the values we can see in there. There you go, dims, country, GHO, year. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to so dot dims. And then I just say dot country. And that's it. So what this does is now it takes data, which is all the JSON information. It goes to the fact array at index 1. Then it accesses the dims. And within the dims, it accesses the country field. So if I save this, and I reload this file, there you go. I get Albania, which, sure enough, there it is. I get that Albania. So if I want to get the GHO and the year, I can do dot. It's exactly the same, but I change this to GHO attribute, and I change this to the year attribute. And if I save this, reload it, there we go. Albania, estimated number of people, all ages living with HIV, 2017. So now, if you understand this, we should be able to access any country. So let's imagine that I wanted to access Canada. So the first thing I have to do is figure out where Canada is. So I'm going to expand this. I'm going to go into fact. And I know this is alphabetical, so I'm going to scroll down. Now I know where it is, so I'm not going to go right there. So maybe 36, and I see I get Columbia. So Canada is going to be before that. So I don't know, 25. Oh, I get Bulgaria. And eventually I would hone in on 31. So Canada is located at the 32nd element, which has an index of 31. And there it is. So I just take this exact same code here. I paste it. And then I say fact at index 31. 31, 31. And I save this. And I reload it. And there's the Canada stuff. Now you notice the GHO and year are the same. Um, but if I want to get now the actual value, that is the number of people that are infected with HIV, 
um, what I can do now is I can open up this and I want to access this value field. But you'll notice something kind of funny. That the value field is not just a number, it's a string and it has a bunch of different things in it. So in our next video, we're going to look at how to access this. But more importantly, look at how we manipulate strings to pull out the value as a number that then we can use in some sort of calculation. I hope this video helped. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day.